Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And as promised, we I am going to do a tutorial and we are going to create this journal. All right, um, I've curated my papers. I did start tearing a little bit and kind of getting an idea of where, you know, I want my placement. But, so I printed out all my materials and um, these collections are from Journal Lossity. I will post her link down below in the description box along with um, Ruby and Pearl XO. And again, I'll post her link down below in the description box. So right now, um, you will need your ruler for tearing. Um, Distress ink, I'm going to be using Vintage Photo. And of course, your binding thread and a needle. And that is all we're doing today. So, um, so I'm going to do a video once a week. Today, we're just curating our papers and inking and binding. So I'm just going to set that aside for right now. So by the time next week, I'm hoping that you'll have your collection of papers and your binding done. And then, um, so we can kind of work on it together, okay? And then what we're going to do is the following week, um, we're gonna work on ephemera. So we're gonna work on ephemera and things that, you know, I think, or you may think, whatever you're creating with, um, whatever papers you're using, whether you're printing out one of these, um, through the links I've listed down below, or if you have papers on your own that you wanna use. Um, I'm sticking with regular um, copy paper. Um, I am not using any cardstock in these. Um, I'll be using my digitals um, on copy paper because I like the flexibility. Um, I don't like using too much of cardstock um, for my B journal. I did, um, but for these kind of journals, I like the flex flexibility and I try to create them to be as authentic as possible. Um, I'm not sure yet whether or not um, I'll be using um, Ruby and Pearl's invoices and ledgers. Most likely I will be. So today, again, we're just gonna focus, focus on tearing up these papers, um, inking and binding. And then I'm hoping um, I'm going to collect all my ephemera and stuff. And we're going to be working on ephemera and everything that we would like to see within this book next weekend. Okay, so let's kind of get started, guys. So I've kind of started already. And I like to tear my papers with a ruler because I like that nice ragged edge. And when you ink them up, um, it just looks fantastic. So we're gonna finish. Um, so what I do is I just take my ruler and we're gonna do some tearing and that's it. So I probably will not go through it every tearing phase with you. Um, sometimes these are easier to tear, sometimes they are not. Let's move that aside. So I'll do a couple pages and then what I will do is I will come back and um, we'll put them in our book. Whoops. So I hope everybody's doing well today. 
and I'm not the greatest tear here. <laughs> um, yeah. So you guys are going to find your own how you want to put it together um, in your um, little journal, um, the way you want to do it. You don't have to do it the way I do it. And I think I need to stand up for this rather than sit because I'm really struggling here. I'm going to stand up. Of course I would struggle because you know why? I'm videotaping. That's why. And the other time. It would be a breeze. It's really not this complicated, guys. <laughs> Good grief. Struggle is real. Struggle is real. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. So, I'm not going to make you go through all the tearing. So, what I'm going to do is, and see, and what we're going to do is fold it in half. And, and I don't care if I have some pages sticking out of my book. I, I like that look because I like seeing the ragged edges like that. So, and there we go. So, I'm going to pause this video for a minute, finish tearing up these um, pages. And then we'll come back and fold and put them in the book. All right. I'll see you shortly. Okay, guys. I am back. I finished tearing up my papers. And as you can see, the nice... Oh, I forgot to tear that part. Oh, boy. That's not good. Hang on. Let me tear this end piece right up. As you can tell, <laughs> I do not do a lot of tutorials. Um, I do do some when time permits me to. But I'm doing this because I've had some requests. There, I tore the edge. I tear much better on the floor than I do at my desk. I struggle at my desk. I don't know why. Probably because I'm so used to crafting. Let's face it. I'm a floor crafter. I find it easier. I have much more room. I can lay out all my stuff. And I feel, I just feel better that way. Okay, here is the book. And again, I did start a little bit as far as how I wanted my papers to go and to lay. So we are going to finish. So I'm not sure, let's see. I know which one I wanted to be this, and I forgot to tear that part too. Oh my God. Hang on guys. <laughs> oh, the struggle is real. Yeah, you can definitely tell I don't do a lot of tutorials. But, hey, and this side, too. What is wrong with me? Good grief. Um, but, you know what? Uh, this is the real deal. The real deal. Crafting right here. <laughs> 
not the perfect tutorial but anyway so let's just stick aren't these nice again i did name my journal savannah rose and and i have to mention this because i forgot to mention it in before this stamp was specifically made um for me through sublime stamps christina and her husband own um that shop on etsy and she they did that stamp for me so that's a a made stamp and I forgot to put her in my last video if you haven't seen my video for the journal that I created for Chona I will link that down below in the description box all right so I know that that's the last page so let's set that aside and I'm pretty sure this was the next one, and all I do is fold my paper in half. Let's see. Nice. And I kind of want them to go in hers the way I would like to see them. So everybody's different. So let's fold this one. And again... I do not care if the edges stick out slightly because I like that jagged edge and it's going to look beautiful. What's that piece? It's going to look beautiful when it all comes together. And as you can see here, I deliberately torn that piece a little bit more. Um, just because I like it that way. Now, you don't have to do that. If you like more of a clean cut edge, by all means, um, use your paper cutter or your scissors. You don't have to do the ruler. Um, I do because I just like the jagged edges. And this side of the paper... I use this digital, but I used, um, and I'm going to show you because to save on ink, because I am running a bit low. So then I have this, it's right in Be Crafty. It's classic vintage antique paper. And I believe I got this, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe Amazon. Um, but it's antique paper. And I just printed on one side and left the other side. So there will be room for maybe collaging maybe I want to do. I don't know. Yeah. Or um, journaling. Leave a spot for journaling on this one. I'm not entirely sure. And to save on ink. Because um, I've been printing like crazy lately. And I like that look. I like that vintage look. Is this upside down? It sure is. There we go. Let's see how I like it to lay. And I may tear that off. I may not. I'm not entirely sure because I don't really mind that if it sticks out a little bit, but I can go back and it all depends. It all depends, I guess. All right, this way. Doesn't that look pretty? And then, let's see. And then, of course, this is going to be my center. So we will fold it this, no, this way. Come on. 
All right, so. I may cut that off of that. I'll be right. I'm going to cut a little bit more off on that, guys. Trim it off. Yeah. All right. Hang on just one second. Just going to take that off. See, no struggle at all tearing on the floor. <laughs> oh, it's so much easier for me, guys. All right. Beautiful. I love the jaggedy edged look. Yep, I like that. I like that a lot. What do you guys think? It's so pretty. And I may want to put this up a little bit more so we can add a pocket. So these will become pockets. So let's put that back there. Put this in here. Let's see. I may want to put this on the bottom. There we go. Hmm. Or do I want it sitting more on the top? Pockets don't necessarily need to be on the bottom. That way you can see, I'd rather see a little bit more of the script on here in the bottom because I can do a little collage in there. I like that better rather than having this on the bottom and then seeing two stamps. So that's going to sit on top. And then we have this page. And then we have a little flip out. Hmm. And I do want to do another pocket. And I think I'd rather have this as the pocket. And then this one, because I love the look against that antique paper. And this one will keep on the bottom. And I love the layered look. And that is the center. Okay. And now I have these papers that I want to add. So this is Ruby and Pearls and I'm going to fold these in half. And it is January so I want to kind of be able to see January on one side and do I want to go sideways with this one let's see no I think I'm gonna do the same that is slightly crooked Let's try to even that out a little bit more. All right. All right, so let's figure out where we want to put these in here. I want 
this. This way instead. That way. I can see January. No, I don't want that together there. Uh, no. Hmm. I mean, let's see. What about here, guys? Maybe not this one. Maybe this one. Pocket, and then we have this, and then we flip it over. We have the month of January, that's good. Um, it doesn't look too shabby there, guys. Let's see. No. Maybe here. Hmm. I think here. Yeah, that'll be okay. And see how I still have white, so I am just going to tear it off like that. So it looks kind of a little more authentic. And then that will be my center. All right, let's take another look. Love it. Love it. January. I'm gonna flip out. And I think I need something there, but I know what I'm going. This will be on the bottom. Like that. Center. Okay, and now I like the way that looks. I may trim that way off. I'm not liking that, so I will do that off camera. And then we have this beautiful piece. I'm going to do some tearing. And I did some tearing over here. A little bit of tearing in the center and then I think I'm gonna do some tearing over here so I like the way that looks so let's see I want to fold it yeah I think that's gonna be perfect And then, hmm, can I do it that way or the other way? Not entirely sure. Let's put it in the book and see, because I know which spot was it that I wanted. I felt that I needed 
something. Was it that one? Hmm. Here, maybe? <sighs> I can go up more. So I want to... What do you guys think? Too much on one page? Yeah, I don't know about there because I liked that look. Let's see. What spot was it, guys? Sure, maybe. I think right there will be all right. There, 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 in the center, and then here. And we have our pockets. And then, and this is upside down. Hmm. All right. Let's do this. pretty. Be a little flip open. Here's the other side. Little pockets. Um, that'll be all right. What do you guys think? All right. I think I got it, guys. And the back. All right, guys. I'm going to um, tear a little bit of this. And, yeah, so I'll do that after. But right now, we're going to do a little bit of inking. So, and I'm not going to go through and I'm going to spare you guys. Or else it would be like a severely long video. But all I am doing is going through and really inking up the edges and I'm going to do it to every single page and it's time consuming but it's worth it. Worth it, worth it, worth it. And I'm going to flip it over. 
and do it on the other side as well. I really hope I've been in focus. <laughs> So guys, this is the real deal tutorial, <laughs> uh, bloops and all. Okay, so this is where I'm going to pause this once again, and I'm going to do a little tear in here, and I'm going to finish inking up the rest of my papers, and I'll be back, guys. All right. See you shortly. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome back. All right. I am back. All my edges are inked in my journal here. And I have these clips. I have my papers aligned exactly how I want them sitting in my journal. And then I attach these clips, which can be purchased at the Dollar Tree or any clips you have on hand. So... Now we're going to bind this baby together so I don't ruin my newly finished desk. Do you like my desk, guys? Look. I love it. Love it, love it. Anyway, so look at this, guys. This is packaging from Amazon. I this make a great journal cover. Hear that crinkle? Yes. I'm not sure I have my address, but yes. So I'll be keeping that. I would make a nice journal cover. And I have my little tool to poke my holes and my thread. And where are my scissors? And my scissors. So I am going to poke a hole here, here, and here, and here. So, let's get started. So I'm thinking, and they have a tool. They actually have a tool. Let's see. I think right there would be perfect where there, I got my first hole. And now my second one. I don't really want it way up there. But I want to get it as close to the edge as possible. But yet, and there we go. All right, so that's that hole. Now let's work on the other side. <sighs> let's see. Um, I think right there would be good. Sorry, guys. Alright, that hole is done. And now the very last hole. I'm going to flip it around. And I think right there would be good. And there we go. Alright, my holes are in place. And now... I am going to grab 
binding thread and I'm going to grab a generous amount well, well I don't need a lot but I need a lot but anyway I'd rather have enough than not enough and my needle so guys let's see and I'm just going to thread it. And I'm using this size needle. I don't know. I just like these needles much better. And then, wait, I'm going to go through this way. Because I'll be tying it on the outside rather than the inside. Am I in focus? I hope so. I hope so. And then gently pull it through. And then I'm going to go to the other side. off. Alrighty, let's see. And I'm going to see if I can use, not waste, a lot of this thread. And I want to make sure it's nice and tight. And it's kind of center. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Keep hitting the camera. All right, it feels pretty tight to me. And I double knotted it. And then I am going to clip off I may want to shorten those up, but for right now, it is fine. It looks okay. And that's the inside and the outside. Perfect. And now let's do the other end. I'm going from the outside in. And now we can take that off. Let's put it back. And let's tighten it. Don't mind my hands, they're inky. <laughs> inky, inky. So I want to hold that as tight as I possibly can. There we go, perfect. I want to feel if it's taut enough. And it is, I'm pleased with it. And 
and we're going to cut off the remaining. Perfect. Now let's get this out of the way. Beautiful. And my scissors. And now we can take these clips off. See, these are just Dollar Tree clips. Whatever you have on hand. But those are what I use. So there we go, guys. What do you think? And that is the start. Everything's done. The base is done. So let's go through it. So here's the front and the back. And I love the binding on the edges like this. Just think it makes it a little more vintage and authentic. And let's go through the pages. See how distressing makes it look. I forget to distress that. At, you know what? I did. Let's get the ink. Let's do that right now. Photo. Here it is. Well, pages I forget to tear. Missing, like, because I need this more inked up here. So let's just do that real quick. Perfect. I love the torn edge look. All right. Let's see what other pages I might have missed. Anyway, there we go. Front cover. Beautiful. This is the, my layout. And then we'll glue the sides there so we can have a pocket. Isn't this paper gorgeous, guys? January, the month of January, which is Savannah Rose's birthday. And then we have a little flip out. We could use it as a flip out, or what we can do is just glue the top and bottom, and then you have a nice little tuck spot. I haven't decided yet, though. Look at how the inked pages make it look. It's so pretty. And then we have a little flip out here. And then we have another pocket here. Again, the month of January. This is the center. Perfect. I love the binding on the top and bottom there. I love it. I love it like that. And there's the other side of that January page. And here's that pocket. And everything is torn and so what we are going to do next before love it here's the other side of that that pocket little flip out or you can glue the top and bottom and make it a tuck spot entirely up to you I kind of like it as a flip out and that's the back guys so there it is so what we're going to do next before i end this video is we are going to crinkle up some of the pages like i think 
here, I kind of want to... Am I in focus? Yeah. See how I'm just kind of crinkling it up there? And then I'm going to take my ink, kind of go over it like that. So I just love, I love that look. Do I want to do the bottom up here? I do. So we're going to do it on the bottom here. And kind of rough it up with some ink. And it'll stay, guys. I don't glue these down or anything. Um, I like. I like it just the way it is. So you may not want to do that. You may, like I said, want it more of a clean cut. But I'm going for the more of the vintage, like this paper's been around for a while. Um, yeah. So we got that one. I think I'm going to leave that page. I am going to do this one though. I love it. And then I'm just gonna take my ink and go over it a bit. Let's see. I'll do the bottom of this one. And I'm just taking a corner of the page and kind of making, you know, wherever it really wants to land, really. See, I just love that look. I think it's been around for a while. Let's do this side. Squish it down and then take a little bit of your ink, just kind of rough it up. And I think I'll do this too. Hey guys, I am back. I'm not sure I have way too much on my phone, but anyway, let's finish off where we left off and crinkle up the ends of these pages, ink them up before my camera. I'm downloading a video right now and amongst other things. So there's a lot that's taken up space on my phone. Because once I upload a video through YouTube, I go back through my camera and I kind of delete that stuff because I really don't need it. And that already has the torn edge look up there. So that's fine. That's fine. And I think I'm going to do up here or on the bottom. Right here. Let's grab some more ink. There we go. And what else, what else, what else? I think this one. Perfect. Hi guys, welcome back. All right, so where we left off. So we distressed our pages and then we were going through and I got cut off by my phone <sighs> once again. Yeah. So anyway, all I did was crinkle up some of my pages here in the corner and inked them up. And let's just go through it one more time. Nice little flip. Did some crinkling up here as well. Make it look like it's been around for a while. Another crinkle there, a little flip out. And a crinkle there. So I really think I'm loving my layout so far. And that is the middle. 
I love the binding this way. So nice. Little pocket. Just got to glue the ends. We can do that now, I suppose. Glue those ends. And little flippy, another little pocket, another little flip out. And that's it. So let's glue those pockets. That way, that'll be done. Grab my glue. So, how's everybody doing today? Got up early and I went and got my hair done, which was so long overdue. I'm telling you, I have a fabulous hairdresser. I feel back to normal. <laughs> so, let's just glue these. Move the end down. Perfect. Let's see. I'm not sure if I want to make a pot. I like the flip out. So I think I'm going to leave those be. Perfect. Let's see. Oh, there's one here. And there, that is it. All right, our book is binded and distressed and roughed up. <laughs> so it looks very vintage and antique-like. And it's filled with beautiful digitals of roses because my beautiful daughter is Savannah Rose. And yeah, so guys, that is it. So our next step is collect your ephemera. Anything that you would want to put in your book. And I may be back on later. And I do, I already got my ephemera ready, so I may be back later. And we can back these beautiful papers up. I think I'm going to make, I'm not sure if I'm going to emboss these and then tear them up and use them as pockets. And I think I, I may, so I may emboss these and then I'm going to do a little tear and maybe place them in as pockets. First, I wanna back them up with probably another thing of paper, just to make it a little more sturdier. And then again, I have these beautiful digitals that all I do with these is back them with my coffee dyed paper that I coffee dyed and that way, there is room for journaling 
and because this is more of you know an antique ledger floral rose floral um rose lookbook rather than it is journaling um that's why i do put papers in there i mean you have a spot for journaling right here so with my last one i didn't have so much journaling but i did here you could journal here unless i collage i've been doing a lot of collaging too so i'm not really sure whether or not i'll leave those blank or not i don't know really um i usually don't have a plan i usually just go with the flow and what comes to me as far as placement and everything and what strikes me, you know, fancy. So, but, I mean, you most certainly can journal in it. But I do like to, I do not. Also, if I have beautiful tags, I do not cover them up. I might add maybe a tad bit of lace. But I like, why cover beautiful digital stuff. I mean, that's the whole beauty of it, is to look at. I mean, you could write something here. That's why I back them up with coffee dyed paper. You can most certainly add a picture in the back or a journal in the back or what have you. But, yeah, I mean, that's gorgeous on its own. It does not need anything. So, but yeah. So I may be back later and we may do that together is just um, use some coffee dyed paper and back them up and, you know, round the edges and distress them. And I'll probably emboss these so I can tear them up and use them as extra pockets. And yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me today. And it is definitely a blooper of a tutorial. But you get the gist. And this is the real me. I'm not going to, if I'm going to do a tutorial, I'm going to show you how it's really like. Um, I'm not going to edit or anything like that. Um, like I said, this is the real deal. And this is how I'm going about this. So until next time, hopefully I'll see you later. Much love and hugs. And thank you for joining me today. And have a great day. See you soon. Bye.